So Amy, you work extensively with both the job seeker mm -hmm. and employers, so you really know the mm -hmm. pulse of what's happening and, and what's needed and what's missing. So can you just talk a little bit about that and how um, the Bounce Program could help enhance what we're doing or not sure. doing here? Well, I, I think in the United States, at least from my vantage point in Western Massachusetts, that you know we do a pretty good job in terms of accessing federal training funds for job seekers at our local one-stop career centers to pursue a technical training up to a certain amount of dollars determined by region. Um, What's unfortunate is sometimes you'll see somebody who's done a great job, they've received an industry certification, whether it be in computers or CNA, and you know, that same person is still out of work in six or 12 months. Why is that? Right. You know, in some cases there's even job openings and employers are looking for people and can't find the people. So what is causing that mismatch um, and how might the bounce program sort of fit that? So we do a good job with technical or hard skills. But I think what's been missing, from my experience, is for people to be able to listen to what the employer is looking for and to be able to communicate their value, make a pitch more mm -hmm. effectively so that the employer feels comfortable and sees them as somebody they want on their team. Right, which is as all an part, asset. As an asset, exactly, Absolutely. not a liability. Yeah. And perhaps, you know, given that situation, at least that's happening in Central Mass, what do you see that the bounce program could actually perhaps fill a gap that mm -hmm. I mentioned from technical training to job placement? Yeah, well, look, here's what I know from the program for the last six and a half years and what it's been delivering is we've worked with job seekers that are um, low skilled to, you know, three diplomas, three mm -hmm. degrees, like all kinds of qualifications. Right. Um, and what we notice is even the person that comes in with the PhD who can't get a job, it's that understanding of their awareness of who they are in mm -hmm. that interview and mm -hmm. then when they go into the job. Mm -hmm. Because one thing we have to realise is there are employability skills. Employers are looking for that. And a lot of times people forget that reliability, integrity, responsibility, I'm going to show up on time, I'm going to notice my behaviour in the workplace, I'm going to know what the expectations are because there's all, mm -hmm. sorts, there's all sorts of unwritten expectations Absolutely. and beginning to understand what they are. And that's where our success has really been living with mm -hmm. Bounce is that we've given people those skills. Sure, they've got all the qualifications, right. but they're not getting a job. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, I had one woman who had been on the police force and she had three degrees. Wow. And she actually could not get a job for five years. Wow. She struggled. And she sat in the Bounce course and she said, why didn't I learn this A in school? And why didn't mm -hmm. I learn this be in the police force mm. and it was understanding it's people skills you know mm -hmm. and it comes back to the emotional intelligence and it's a it's a model that is delivering what is the big buzzword right now EQ right and exactly. we're really giving that skill set mm -hmm. which is the soft skills and it's truly what people are looking for because at the end of the day I can teach you a skill mm -hmm. I can teach you how to use a computer right but a lot of people are forgetting that I've got to teach you the integrity reliability mm -hmm. accountability Reliability, mm. integrity, yeah. and accountability. accountability.